The community of Transcona has a rich culture and history. A significant part of this culture and history involves music. Today, we will be taking a brief look into Transcona's music history using the Transcona Museum's collection. We will begin with the history behind this very cool photograph. It was taken in 1967. The photo features Ray Carney, Pat Ireland, Larry Martineau, and Roger Colpitz. The Transcona News wrote that the group spent many hours practicing their own arrangements. Most of them had no professional training and played by ear. When they first started, they practiced every free hour possible, after school and on Saturdays and Sundays. They performed in the Battle of the Bands at Transcona Collegiate Institute, at East End Community Club, and more. They were said to be the sound that Transcona had been missing. Another local band was the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band. The pipe band was formed by a group of Transcona shop workers in 1921. The shops are located on Pandora Avenue. This photograph is of the Transcona Shops Pipe Band in 1913. For many years, the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band was led by Pipe Major Alexander Sandy Cameron. Pipe Major Cameron is this man here. The pipe band performed at various social and community events in Transcona and Winnipeg, as well as across Manitoba. This photo here shows the pipe band at Grand Beach in 1923. The pipe band was quite successful. In this photo here and this photo here, you can see them posing with many different trophies and plaques. Between 1928 and 1932, the pipe band won 18 first prizes. For example, in 1928 and 1930, they won the J.W. Stewart Cup at the Vancouver Caledonian Highland Games. Their most notable triumph was scored in Toronto in 1931 when they won the championship for military and civilian pipe bands. Some of their other accomplishments include being a part of the procession through Winnipeg on May 24, 1939 as King George and Queen Elizabeth passed through on their royal tour of Canada. They also led the parade for the town of Transcona's Silver Jubilee in 1936 and they were regular participants in the Decoration and Remembrance Day ceremonies in Transcona during the 1930s and the 1940s, which you can see in this photo here. After 35 years, the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band would disband in 1956. There have been, and are, many other pipe bands in Transcona like the Transcona Junior Pipe Band, the Transcona District Pipe Band, and the Transcona Pipe Band. And you can see the Transcona Pipe Band here at the Transcona Is Festival that took place in 1994. So as you can see, pipe bands were and are a significant part of Transcona's music history. Next, we will be talking all about Helene Bla. Miss Bla was born in Transcona in 1917. Her passion for music grew as she learned piano at the age of 12. She completed her music teacher diploma in 1938 and her performance diploma in 1939. In 1944, she became a member of the Registered Music Teachers Association of Manitoba. Her education allowed her to begin teaching piano lessons from her childhood home at 315 Victoria Avenue East. In April 2013, this home was actually designated as a Class 3 historic building by the City of Winnipeg. The Blah Home and the Transcona Museum are the only two municipally designated historical buildings in Transcona. Helene Bla Music Studios opened in 1955 at 306 Day Street. This photo here was from 
the 1966 percussion band concert composed of students from the Helene Bla Music Studios. Each year, her baby grand piano was moved to a local auditorium for a piano and percussion band recital to raise funds for the Society of Manitobans with Disabilities. Here you can see Jimmy Zercher playing the piano at one of her annual recitals. Her students also performed at many other festivals like the Transcona Festival of Music organized by Club Musicona. Club Musicona was a non-profit organization of private music teachers and citizens who were interested in promoting the growth of music in Transcona. Helene Bla was the chairman of Club Musicona. Here you can see some of her students performing at the 1969 Transcona Festival of Music. Here we have Judy Crosher at the microphone, Andrew Hargrave at the piano, and Francis Ferguson at the piano. Blas Junior Percussion Band was particularly successful. These photos show the junior percussion bands who won the Quinton Dye Work Shield at the Manitoba Festival of Music for the fifth, sixth, and seventh consecutive years in a row. In 1977, Miss Bla made the decision to amalgamate Helene Bla Music Studios with the well-known and newer Miller School of Music at 112 Regent Avenue West. From there, she eased her way into retirement. Helene Bla passed away December 14, 2012. She will be remembered by her passion for music and her great impact on young people and music in Transcona. Her impact continues with the Helene Bla Music Scholarship Fund through Conservatory Canada. Like Helene Bla, the Walsh twins were also well-known musical figures in Transcona. In 1972, the Walsh twins moved to Transcona. The twins, who were known for their amazing singing voices, put on nightclub shows featuring Elvis' music. Elvis was actually born a twin. And at that time, the Walsh twins were the only twin Elvis impersonators. Their first local performance was at the Central Hotel. They became very popular in Transcona in Winnipeg, performing at many bars and events, like Transcona's High Neighbor Festival. Even though the Walsh twins were not born and raised in Transcona, they always told people they were from Transcona when traveling. They were proud to call Transcona home. The band Harlequin formed in Transcona in 1975 with Ralph James, George Belanger, Glenn Willows, Gary Golden, and David Budzak. The band was soon discovered by Jack Douglas, the producer of Aerosmith. They were subsequently signed to CBS or Epic Records in 1979. The band went on to be quite successful. For example, their first LP, Victim of Song, went gold. They had many hit songs including Thinking of You, Innocence, Superstitious Feeling, and I Did It For Love. In 2006, the band was inducted into the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. In the 90s, the band became the unofficial house band at Joe's Garage or the Pandora Hotel. The band continues to perform, with Greg Belanger being the only original member. The new members include Derek Godfried, Nick Rivers, Darren Moore, and AJ Chabidon. Fun fact, the guitarist Derek Godfried was trained by Doug Ketchison, a teacher at the previously mentioned Miller School of Music. So as you can see, this band is deeply connected to Transcona. Now on to some pieces in our collection. The museum maintains and preserves a collection of musical instruments, recordings, sheet music, concert programs, and books, as well as other musical paraphernalia. It is a collection that reflects the musical history present in Transcona that is still celebrated today.
In our collection, we have this bass drum. The drum holds historic and social significance for Transcona and the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band. The drum was played by Andrew Galloway Donald Much during his time with the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band. As part of the founding collection at the Transcona Museum, the bass drum was on display during the official opening of the museum in 1968. The CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band, along with the bass drum, has been the subject of several displays at the museum over the past 50 years. This is the Doherty Pump Organ. It was donated to the museum by the St. Francis Roman Catholic Church, formerly located on Dougal Road. Very little is available about the church at its former location, as well as the history of the pump organ to the Transcona community. If you have any information on the organ, please do not hesitate to contact the museum. It remains on permanent display due to lack of storage space in the collections. Although we know very little about the Doherty pump organ, it does bring us to the importance of music in churches in Transcona. Here you can see the St. George's Anglican Church Choir and the Transcona United Church Youth Choir. Our current exhibit, Collecting Transcona, Connecting Manitoba, presents a history of the Transcona community through its everyday objects. So of course, musical instruments and other music paraphernalia, like a trumpet and radio, are displayed to represent Transcona's rich music history. Please visit the museum today to see it for yourself. Now that we have taken a brief look into the history of music in Transcona, we will talk about music in Transcona today. This mural was painted by Dan Sawatsky in 1991. The mural depicted the CNR Transcona Shops Pipe Band. It celebrated both the community's connection to the railway and its music history. Unfortunately, the mural was not restored due to its poor condition, but the mural is commemorated today in a picture that hangs in the Transcona Biz office. This mural was painted by Annie Bergen on the side of the Royal George Hotel in 2011. It was sponsored by Transcona Biz, the Royal George Hotel, and the City of Winnipeg Community Incentive Program. The mural celebrates the strong music culture in Transcona and the 2012 centennial celebrations. If you take a look at the mural, the view of the mural is of someone standing backstage looking out onto the audience. If you would like to see this mural, check out our mural walking tour. Today, the Royal George is recognized as one of the top music venues in Transcona. It is described as a warm and comforting environment with a large variety of music history and memorabilia displayed throughout the venue, giving it a museum-like experience that adds to the live music experience. You can see a small handful of the music memorabilia in the photos above. They are one of the few venues in Canada that have live music seven nights a week when they are not closed due to COVID-19 restrictions. The Royal George was originally known as a blues bar alongside the nostalgic Blue Note Cafe, but now it features artists of all genres like Top 40, Country, Folk, and Rock. A successful country music group that some of you may know of, Petrick, happened to be from Transcona. The band is composed of brothers Jason and Tom Petrick and their longtime friend and band member Jordan Day. The band officially formed in 2014 and became the first act signed to Dallas Smith's record label Steelhead Music in May 2015. Petrick's debut single, Here Goes Everything, was their first top 20 song on Canadian country radio. The band has gone on to chart six songs and garner over 14 million online streams. They have also won four Manitoba Country Music Awards and were nominated for a Canadian Radio Music Award. 
check out their recently released album, Flashbacks. With COVID-19 forcing most events and activities to go virtual, musicians have had to adapt how they perform. Transcona Collegiate Music students demonstrated their ability to adapt to the online music space by creating a video for the CBC Music Class Challenge. On November 14th, TCI music teacher Mr. Steinhilber asked if anyone in the band or choir would like to be a part of the CBC Music Class Challenge. The students in this video are those that volunteered. The students arranged the song, recorded all of their parts in their own homes, and had a friend from the TCI dance class add her art to the video, all in 10 days. So no matter what the world throws at Transcona, its deeply entrenched musical culture prevails. So where do you think music history and culture in Transcona will go? Do you know of any local up-and-comers? Please comment below with your answers or with any music history that may have not been included in this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the Transcona Museum and like, share, and comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and let us know if you would be interested in a part two. Make sure that you follow us on social media to stay up to date on museum events, programs, exhibitions, and opportunities. We are at Transcona Museum on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can stay up to date on some of the activities that we're currently running, like walking tours, craft with us, and Kids Quest and Transcona Quest. Finally, please make sure to visit the Transcona Museum. For all information or inquiries, uh, see the phone number, email, and website below. And please make sure to check the COVID-19 restrictions and guidelines for museums before you come to the museum. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed.